All right, so um, <clears throat> this sudden urge to do video blogging, I think, came from running this, uh, I think in the short time it came from, from this, I was sorting through some of the KRC uh, footage. Hey, hey, Kim. Um, I came across so all these uh, fun <gasps> short clips that have been saved uh, for the smartphone. And, um, <laughs> and I realize how fun, like when I have spare time, it is to. Oh my god, there's an old webcam there. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> that webcam costs like five bucks. Um, so, um,. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so I, I just realized how fun it is to reminisce, especially because I think in school um, it's the the because there's a fairly set structure, the division between um, each year, eighth grade, ninth grade, tenth grade, is much more defined and. I still make sense a little bit of what I was doing in 11th grade versus what I was doing in 12th grade, although the, those lines are starting to blur finally these days. But after you are out of school and I'm just working, um, I kind of remember years by the major campaign we had that year, but uh, it's way easier to blur lines, those lines together. So I'm like. <coughs> Most of these act campaigns that we have between 2011 or 2009 are, are a big blur to me. I'm like, when do we do SCHIP again? I'm like, is, was it 2011? I'm like, no, 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 no. The, the summer townhouse was in 2009, so we probably did the SCHIP campaign in 2000. Same year we had the health reform campaign? I don't know. So i um, starting to forget. And um, I. Uh, it's fun. Uh, I think in, in during the low, what's that called? Low. When I'm chilling, uh, and I uh, just watch myself, I guess, or what I was watching uh, back then. Um, I remember reading those old blog entries from. Uh, how many years ago is that? 18 years ago? Yeah, I think it was 18 years ago. 18 years ago, and I, I don't remember why I had the internet, but I was having the internet that, you know, uh, that I was not aware of X issue or X whatever uh, when I was that little. And uh, actually, I was. And where is that proof? It's in the writings. So, um,. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, reading all that um, has been has been lots of fun, and um, I realized that over the past um, uh, eight years, I haven't been living as many written things. So uh, so probably that's why I started doing these crazy things. Um, I. <laughs> I uh, started, one thing I started doing is I started writing uh, where I was spending money. And I think it wasn't necessarily because I was interested in, well, it, it partly because of for tracking the money, but also to, because uh, if you trace the money, you can remember where I was a lot of times. Because when I was at home, I think I wasn't spending time. So when I was going outside and meet, uh, you know, hang out with uh, church people, um, our KRC people, that's where the money was getting spent. So, um, yeah, this goes back to 2000. Not sure. Uh, yeah, 2006, really? Wow. I started writing this as soon as I started working at KRC. Wow. Okay, so that. And then all the anime that I've watched um, since I started watching anime. Um, things like that, uh, just to leave a record, I, I think. And um, but those things uh, are relatively easy to write down, 
but rather sparse and uh, like I don't watch a movie every day um, rather sparse and um, uh, not as qualitatively not as rich as uh, something written and um, <clears throat> I I have this um, maybe it's a misguided perception that uh, recording something I always felt way more confident doing something live and improvising than uh, build like than writing something and preparing a document so um, I, I, f I had this maybe misguided perception that uh, doing a recording a little video is way easier than trying to write because I guess when I'm writing like when I'm, 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 I'm recording this I don't remember anymore what I said three minutes ago so maybe I'm repeating myself or maybe it's contradicting or maybe it's not going to make a whole of career and sense and when I'm writing something that really bothers me so I need to go and correct and I just spend way too much time correcting or adding the footnotes um, with this anytime I want to add footnotes I can like either show this kind of screen or you know do a written footnotes so um, way more convenient so yeah I'm mostly um, uh, vlogging so that I can watch it uh, two years later three years later ten years later and have fun uh, when I'm when I'm tired of working and also um, remember some of the details of the things that might have I might have thought of, thought or uh, worked on but because there were not a core uh, area what I was doing at that point I might not remember it later on so um, yeah that's 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 why and um, as, as is usual with blogging, um, you know, you, you blog to mostly for yourself, but um, blogging online enables you uh, to interact with people who either have fun reading what you wrote or have a chance to interact with you. And you get a chance to, uh, you know, talk with other people who share similar interests or are grasp grasping with uh, similar difficulties. So. Um, uh, hopefully, video blogging will <coughs> will uh, fulfill a similar role, uh, somewhat a similar role. Although there's some disadvantages versus uh, written written content. That in written content you can search, and uh, written content you can skim way more quickly. On a, on a video, you just need to watch the 40 minute thingy. Um, so, um, although that side is improving too, uh, thanks for our. Uh, Overlord School, who will, is converting all the text into what's that thing again? Text all the spoken speech into into cap into a searchable text and uh, uh, trying to make sense out of uh, images as well. Who knows what they're what they're planning? So um, yeah, that's what I do. The only thing that I'm I I. I I often forget and then I sometimes realize oh yeah is that um, uh, my videos which I have 900 videos on my YouTube channel now uh, rely on a single platform uh, YouTube and I have used many many platforms that have failed in the past um, and as a result of it I lost data that I didn't want to lose um, so where does it start? I think it starts with maybe Life Journal, and then um, I was trying to use Teller Tools and Media Move and blogging. And whenever I transfer from a platform to another platform, on the blogging platform, things were relatively uniform, so I could transfer, but things were getting lost the comments, the attachments sometimes. Um, and uh, it's a little bit miraculous that YouTube didn't suffer the same fate, partially because of its Google acquisition. Uh, when, when, when did Google acquire YouTube? Like 2007? Um, and uh, that's probably what has made it last so long. Uh, and I, I guess I do have the files on, on, uh, saved, but like say if YouTube radically transforms from its current state to something else that's undesirable to post on maybe they'll I 
uh, well, Google is not terribly pro worker, so maybe they'll they affiliate themselves with Walmart or something, and uh, will need to escape the platform. Then I'll be left with thousands of videos that are linked on my blog. That I I do have the files, but I have two thousand files, and I need to reorganize everything in the new platform, if if there is a new platform, um, and you know I'm like um I'm everything make everything work it's funny because when I watch my uh, blog which has gone through tons of platform transition um, let's see yeah this blog is has has seen its days yeah what, what isn't this a poem in Spanish I wrote why is this here um so uh let's see around here is when i start typing in english maybe hmm. yeah things like this so the funny thing is um i remember i was adding images and audio uh, for for a while i was doing audio recordings because that's the point in which the video recordings were kind of high traffic or like high high storage uh, it was kind of a burden but I don't know um, so I was doing audio uh, video blogging and um, I saved them and for the most part they're either lost or they are um, unlinked from the original post so in order to so the files are there but in order to to make them appear in the blog in a, in a real fashion, I need to spend, I don't know, writing, either write an algorithm or spend a lot of time uh, relinking uh, all the, um, all the, uh, each, each post with the audio file, each post with the image. And uh, only the text has managed to survive relatively in intact. And uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, this thing. It's a fun paper I wrote in analytic chemistry, and um, I posted it in my blog back then, I believe. And uh, it was it was a pretty witty uh, post, and we did an actual we did actual um, uh, atomic spectrometer spectrometer measurements uh, from the snow, and um, I had uh, neat tables and pictures to make it, this look nice. And then all of that is gone, unfortunately. I don't have time to replicate all this. But fortunately, I copy and pasted the tables into text, and that survived. If I had kept it as, as images, it would have suffered the fate of this thing. Let's see. Yes. So in this thing, I had a little chart. And unfortunately, the charts got lost and then um, I managed to get some thumbnails but I don't see the thumbnails but there's some thumbnails that are part of this uh, post but I don't get the full pic like yeah full pic jimmer so it's very hard to see unfortunately so um, yeah so that makes me wonder whether and there's no way that <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> Because of how gung ho Google has gone with YouTube, there's like no way that anything that I can pay afford can host all these videos that I'm putting up. And um, yeah, it's there. There's no way in in that full. Like I download 720p quality, and there are like 400 megabytes each. So um, <laughs> none of the <laughs> Paid hosting services, uh, I can afford to have that. Um, so it, it is a, a little bit of a worry, but I think given Google's uh, position in the in the industry currently, I think it's safe for the next five years and hopefully we'll figure something out in the next five years where it's even more reliable, if possible. Because I want to I want to I want to look at this uh, 30 years later, unless <clears throat> mm. unless we all die out of global warming which is very likely 
but um, yeah. So that's why I that's why I video vlog. <laughs>